Welcome to this week's episode of Seeds of Gold. Let's dive right into it. Hass avocados. They may take a couple of years to mature, but once they do, a single tree can produce up to 200 fruits. Of course, with good agronomic practices. Coming up on the program... Hass Avocado is an investment bank for anyone who wants to get money at every year for the rest of the 50 years. The trees have a lifespan of over 40 years and the bigger they get, the bigger the yield. And it will give you an incremental weight every year. Today, we meet Robert, a Hass Avocado farmer. Well, Robert, thank you for joining us on the show. So Robert, yes. why Hass Avocado farming? Hass Avocado farming, why? Because uh, it's uh, a desired crop at the international market, mm. but also locally it's a desired crop for its nutrients. Hass Avocado is well known for its uh, range of nutrients, vitamin C, D, E, then also the, the micro nutrients of zinc, manganese, and the demand for healthy living mm. is high in this world. Uganda has a demand of 480,000 metric tons of oil. And of that, we just produce 80,000. Mm. First and foremost, uh, Hass Avocado is a cultivar that uh, was, was uh, uh, invented by Rudolf Haas. Mm. Rudolf Haas was uh, a postman in, 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 in USA. So he tried to graft different uh, varieties of avocados that came from uh, Mexico. And he hit a jackpot when he, he made a, a, a graft that created the Haas variety we have. To grow a very good Haas avocado, it starts from the seedling. We don't plant the seed, but we plant the seedling because the, the cultivar, the, 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 the top, Zion, is what we pick from the original Rudolf Haas tree. And we, we just join that using the local variety seed. Mm. And the local variety seeds, we get them from our usual avocados. The reason is because uh, our usual avocados have that resilience. And when we plant the seed, in three months, we are able to graft it with the Haas avocado. So the good agronomic practices, first and foremost, the seed. To have a good seed is the starting ground of this. Then the other agronomic practices is to ensure that you're digging, because we have different spacing, we have the 5x5 five five spacing that can give you 160 trees in one acre. But we can also do a 7x7 seven seven spacing mm -hmm. that gives you around 100 trees. And I will tell you the difference is that with a 5x5 five five like this, it will grow in the seventh year we shall have a bush, a canopy. So we need to cut a line so as we allow the tree to have more space. You don't need to expose harsh avocado to harsh conditions more so lack of water mm -hmm. because uh, the soils that go well for us are loamy sandy soils that allow drainage a and aeration of the roots but where there is no water it becomes now hard for this has avocado to grow well so we do a pruning and also we do the theming of the of, of the of the nips because the auxiliary shoot when we cut it, it allows also the branching of the tree. From eight months after seed to one year, you have a seedling. And remember, you've grafted from already an active area of a tree that is ready to fruit, that is ready to grow. So in two and a half years, in two and a half years, you will see the fruits. But the challenge is, how firm is your tree? Mm -hmm. How established is it to hold the very many fruits? And on this demonstration farm still, we show people that there is a tree that is weak enough <laughs> to hold all the trees. So mm -hmm. we defruit and make sure that there is not, nothing like loss. But from two and a half years, at most three years, you have the fruit. Mm -hmm. The fruits I'm holding are not yet three years. And already it's fruiting. Mm -hmm. so, what makes this Hass avocado give you the fruit is because it needs just the water if it flowers boron and ensure that uh, every fruit is a component of water so the more water you can give it in a measurable way 
the larger fruits you can have. In three years, you will have your commercially viable fruit mm. for Hass Avocado. Now these trees have a lifespan of over 40 years and a farmer can yield up to 28 million Uganda shillings on one acre of 160 trees. Now that is gold in the seed. It will give you an incremental weight every year. Mm. It will add 15 to 20 kilos. By the seventh year, we shall average at around 100 kilos in a tree. And if we remain with our 2,000 shillings, that is 200,000 per tree. Mm -hmm. And you have 100 of them, that's 20 million. You have 150, that's 30 million. In one acre of land. Mm -hmm. So the gold is there. The, another richer gold is into also the, the wastes. When we go to the oil mills, these seeds are not thrown. They are cut into, into, into food for uh, uh, black soldier flies. And uh, there are people are now making a lot of money out of that. But also, we can process the seed into avocado teas because the seed is very nutritious and has a greater health benefit for people with pressures, people with uh, uh, blood issues. So the gold is there. Mm. What we call for is just the processing systems mm. and add more value onto this. But for Uganda, mm. Uganda has ability to be on the top of the 10 exporters. And we can be there in the next five years. And when we are there, I know the Minister of Finance will be very happy with it, <laughs> with a lot of foreign exchange that, that we shall be bringing. We as farmers, so, Hass Avocado is there to make sure that people have a good earning yeah. and which is sustainable for 50 years than other crops of one month, uh, three months, uh, one year. So, Hass Avocado is an investment bank for anyone who wants to get money at every year for the rest of the 50 years. Largely, Uganda has a big, uh, the big vast of uh, land is arable. And uh, avocado, I usually tell people, look at your vicinity and see, do you see any avocado tree in your community? Mm -hmm. Do you see coffee? Where coffee can be, avocado can. So that is the test I give people. Two, it doesn't need a lot of rocky places because uh, the, 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 the roots will find a challenge to penetrate. But also, when there is a rocky incidence, you, you have to do a bigger hole to ensure that this tree can establish. Yeah. But largely everywhere in Uganda, apart from uh, swamps and areas that have a lot of clay and sandy, but largely in Uganda, even in the mountainous areas, avocado does well. Mm. As Nayakado, we believe that if we can have just each household have 20 trees, not even not not even acres, twenty trees. Mm. A tree by seven by the seventh year can give a farmer around uh, eighty to one hundred kilograms. And at that rate, at a rate of two thousand shillings, a tree would be able to raise something like one sixty thousand to two hundred thousand per tree. So if a family has twenty of those, that household can be secured mm. in in the long run. So. For those who have uh, an acre, two acres, you don't need to have the five acres. Mm. Because in fact, managing five acres will be a catastrophe for you. Start small. Because has avocado is not, it's, it's not like planting eucalyptus or, or pine. You don't leave the trees to, to feed for themselves. They need the care. For us, every time you come and say hello to the trees, to tell you, it will tell you that, man, I need water, I need mm. this. Because they are creating wealth for you. So, for those who feel that they have a, a, a small holding of land, one acre, you just need 160 trees, or 100 trees, according mm. to the spacing. And you would need to invest around 3 million shillings for the first year. Mm. Then you manage slashing. You don't need to do a lot of weeding because we just leave the, 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 the soil intact uh, in the conservative way. So, you, you do a management of around 500 to 600,000 just to manage. In the third year, you've spent close to say, 5 million shillings. And in that year, you will sell approximately 40 kilos per tree. And it will raise the money you've invested 
if you manage well in your first harvest, you will, your return of investment will be close. Mm. So for those who feel that Hass Avocado is for, for the bourgeoisie, <laughs> yes, you just plant your one acre, you'll also be part of the bourgeoisie because it is something that will grow as you sit in your office. It will grow as you do your other businesses. We are going for a short commercial break and when we return, get to know the markets of Hass Avocado. So we would all like to find the gold in the seed. Yes. Let's talk about the markets. Ah, I love that. The gold in the seed cuts across uh, the flesh to the oil. Mm -hmm. Has avocado, as earlier said, that uh, when you compare with the local varieties, uh, has avocado has up to 23% oil content, and uh, the local varieties range from 3 to 6%. As Alia said that Uganda, we do have a, eight, uh, a, a, a deficit of 400,000 uh, tons of, uh, of oil, edible oil. Yeah. And we only manufacture 80,000. Yeah. Has avocado can be used to give us oil. And why oil from uh, avocado? Avocado oil is ranked second to the olive oil mm. because of its greater, its greater nutrition content but also it has one of the highest what we call calorific value it doesn't smoke easily you have to burn it at very high temperatures for it to smoke mm. so for people with uh, in love with salads in love with healthy eating it's the avocado oil but our sisters know that vitamin E is good for their <laughs> skins it's good for their beauty and the beauticians are going for avocado oil I have a colleague who's changed now using avocado oil for the hair yeah. and it's very amazing. So the beauty industry is, 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 is competing with the, <laughs> with the food industry <laughs> for the avocado oil. Mm -hmm. And currently a liter can grow, it can go for 30,000 plus. And uh, there, that's the gold. Yeah. Then let's go to the flesh. As in, uh, when you look at the demand, the global demand for has avocado is high. And uh, it's projected to go as, as, as uh, uh, the, the, the market to go as high as two, is it 430 billion dollars. And all this is that Uganda we have an opportunity to get part of this dance of Hass Avocado. Mm -hmm. our, our brothers in Kenya, our neighbors in Kenya are, are, are number six in exporting this fruit to the world. And they are tapping billions mm -hmm. of, 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 of shillings or billions of dollars in this regard. And the demand of Hass Avocado by Europe, by Asia, China itself, uh, uh, Kenya got a, a permission to, to export to China, but it could only supply 30% of what <laughs> they needed. And uh, most of them are running to Uganda because Uganda has the best arable land and we have biannual. Mm -hmm. So we are at an advantage. So the money is in the fruit, fresh fruit export, but also as avocado oil. We have uh, different uh, uh, plants that are doing oil now extraction. And there is no avocado that will be put to waste. Mm -hmm. If it can't go for export, we shall need it for oil. Mm -hmm. And in an acre of land, assuming you have uh, 160 trees, and uh, we've just counted our trees here. One tree was giving us 160 fruits. Mm. And four fruits can make a kilo. So that is around 40 kilograms, even before it is three years. So when you look at 40 kilograms at 2,000 shillings, that is 8,000 per tree. And if you have 100 trees, that's 8 million. If you have 150 trees, that is 12 million in one acre at three years. But also avocado can contribute to the coffers of this country. But to reach there, there is a lot of investment, logistical investments. Mm. Because Uganda, we are landlocked, we don't have the, the sea. To ship one uh, 20, 20 feet container, you need to do it fast and have all the cold rooms and all the logistical su support. Mm.
It's the expert opinion on Haas Avocado Farming. You as a farmer, you can learn. Because we have now farmers that have, we, we've inspired to grow a Haas Avocado. There is one lady who we know closely now has 30 acres and she has started harvesting for export. We've managed her farm to see up to that stage. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's all good because uh, she tells you that at least they came here and took away uh, fruits at 2,400, 2,200 shillings per kilo. Mm -hmm. So the proper agronomy or extension service is what we recommend. Mm -hmm. And there are no shortcuts in Haas Avocado farming. In case you don't uh, plant Haas Avocado, you'll have a weed, mm. <laughs> which we call the, the different variety. You'll wait for three years, you won't see anything. Two, in case you don't do the good uh, agronomic practices, the pest management system, you'll have a lot of losses. Mm. And you'll find that uh, your fruits are infested with, uh, with the fruit flies or, or any, the very many ranges of, of, of challenges. Mm. China, for example, its standards, it, it brings what we call the false, false coding moth, FCM. And, and, and the months we have, but when you don't manage your flow well, when you don't manage your farm well, it has a lot of bushes. These months will stay around mm -hmm. and they will give you company on your fruit and it will be rejected at the international standard. So these agronomists will come in play and help. The, the, the greatest challenge of uh, avocado farming is what we call the root rot. Mm -hmm. And the root rot stems for, from uh, the seedling to, to even the, the management of the farm. When the, you, you see the root hairs of avocados feed closely, and they would need to have air to stay alive. But when you have a lot of water in the soil, you'll, you'll create an environment for the pathogens. And they will choke onto the roots and they will stifle the roots, they will die. Mm. Now, to see that the tree is having root rot, you will see it trying to dry on the back, but also on the top. But this is after you've invested a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you mitigate uh, root rot? We, we, we have different uh, 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 remedies. One, we, we can do drenching with uh, some uh, uh, some chemicals to, to ensure that the environment there is good. But the greatest way is to ensure that the micro environment of your soil, the, the, the texture, the chemistry of your soil is right. Because root rot is because the roots are not breathing because of a lot of water percolation. That's why we say you don't give uh, avocados a lot of water because you will kill. The roots will say, I'm choking, I'm drowning. Then, uh, secondly, we have what we call the we, we call the the, the 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 false coding moth. It's it's a, it's a, it's a, a butterfly. When you talk of a moth, it's like a butterfly. <laughs> but also, we can use the uh, traps. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have the, the the traps, and those traps can help. But also the fruit flies. Fruit flies. They enjoy getting into the the, the fruit, and they leave a star. It's a diamond star, on on, on the on, on, on the on the fruit. And that one reduces your grade of fruit from 80 or 90 percent to zero because no one wants to eat a fruit that is infested. Mm. But largely, we also have uh, different kind of diseases that are known with the, with, with the trees. And uh, these are fungal infections. And uh, also we have the bacterial wilt that is at the soils. So largely, how do we mitigate this? First and foremost is the best management. If you manage your orchard well, because uh, the chemicals is the last result. Mm. In fact, we don't even talk about that for us so much because what you manage here is, is, is what gives you the, the great thing. So if you can have a very good management system of your farm and uh, you repel this, for example, for those who have uh, rabbit urine, mm. it, it can repel. Yeah. It's a good uh, organic fertilizer and it can do a repellent uh, duty for these different uh, mm. uh, insects. But largely, avocados in Uganda are enjoying. They, they, they are stay here because we've not been practicing the commercial farming of them. So, <laughs> so, so we have not faced a lot of challenges. Mm. But with uh, the management system, I think we can have the best.